It is 738 right now, and it's a cold case known as Gresham's most gruesome murder. Three women killed the suspect on the run ever since. In this week's True Crime Tuesday, co-hosts Emily Rowney and Alicia Holland look back at the case and where detectives think the killer is today. Good morning and welcome back to True Crime Tuesday. Today I'll be telling the story of Tyrone Fees, a fugitive of over 25 years. On January 17, 1994, a disgruntled, terminated employee of the Gresham Leathers Oil returned to his former workplace with vengeance on his mind. Tyrone Thies had been accused of stealing money from the Leathers Oil and had been fired a few months prior. When he went back on that January night, he was not alone. With his cousin Larry Scherf and Larry's girlfriend Lori Stevens in tow, the plan was in place. Larry and Lori would wait in the car while Tyrone robbed it. While Larry drove away with what he thought was a windfall and his cousin, he was actually now transporting a murderer. While robbing the gas station, Tyrone forced the three female employees, Mary Beth Wheeler, 25, her mother-in-law, Rosalie Faye Gertz, 51, and their co-worker, Virginia K. Indicott, 47, into the garage portion of the building. Once there, Tyrone forced them to lay on the ground, face down, when they did, he walked past each of them, shooting them in the back of their head. All three women died at the scene in what has been called Gresham's most gruesome murders. While he got away with it at first, Larry and Lori were soon caught, but before authorities could arrest Tyrone, he disappeared. Now, 27 years later, justice is still being sought. Tyrone has been on the run since February of 1994. Tyrom and his hideous crimes were featured on both America's Most Wanted and Unsolved Mysteries, but the killer of Mary Beth, Rose, and Virginia is still on the loose. At the time of these heinous crimes, Tyrone was 6'4", 180 pounds, and with a long face and long body, he is somewhat distinctive. He also had a tattoo of a panther crawling up his stomach. If someone has information about Tyrone's whereabouts, where should they reach out? If you have any information about Tyrom or his whereabouts, please call 503-618-2719 or the Oregon Crime Stoppers at 503-823-4357. For more information about this case, you can access our free mini episode, Gas Station Murders, at patreon.com forward slash murder in the rain. We'll see you next week for another True Crime Tuesday. Wow, that's a really interesting case. Now, for more from Murder in the Rain, follow them on social media and listen to their investigations wherever you stream your podcasts and then tune in to AM Extra every Tuesday morning for a new local case.